Hello, and welcome to the ESET study. This is a neurological emergency treatment trial put on by 39 hospitals around the nation, some of which are part of the Pediatric Emergency Care Applied Research Network. We are talking to you today because this study will be happening in Washington, D.C. at Children's National Health System. ESET stands for the Established Status Epilepticus Treatment Trial. So what does that mean? So in this video, I will first briefly explain the study to you. Then we will hear from a doctor at Children's National who will tell you more about the importance of the study. And lastly, we will show you a way to opt out of the study as well as share your thoughts and concerns. So let's start from the beginning. What is Established Status Epilepticus? The first ESE in ESET. It is a condition that has to do with seizures. A seizure is an abnormal activity in the brain, a common medical problem, but those that do not stop in minutes can be life-threatening. Very prolonged seizures can affect a person's ability to think and remember things, can prevent a child from returning to school or functioning independently, and can cause permanent brain damage or even death. That's why it's very important to get emergency care. In the emergency department, Doctors give a medicine called a benzodiazepine to make the seizure stop. About one-third of patients, however, continue to seize, even after they have received more than two doses of this medicine. These patients who have a seizure that does not stop after five minutes, even after receiving two doses of medicine, have the condition we're talking about, established status epilepticus. So the ESET study is an emergency medicine study designed to improve the treatment of people in this condition, established status epilepticus. Doctors throughout the United States all care for these patients a bit differently. For example, Dr. A might give phosphenatoin, while Dr. B gives valproic acid, and Dr. C might give levetiracetam. All three of these medicines are currently used by doctors to treat children who come into the emergency department in established status epilepticus, so none of them are experimental. The purpose of the ESET study is just to find out which one works the best. In other words, doctors need the ESET study to figure out which of these three medicines will stop seizures the fastest. Now, we are going to hear from Dr. Chamberlain, who is a principal investigator of the study and the head of the emergency department at Children's National. He will talk a little bit more about the study and why it is important for us to hear your thoughts and concerns about the study. Hi, my name is James Chamberlain and I'm the Division Chief of Emergency Medicine at Children's National Medical Center. I'm also the Pediatric Principal Investigator for the Established Status Epilepticus Treatment Trial. As Joanna mentioned, the purpose of this trial is to determine which of the three commonly used anticonvulsant medications is most effective for treating status epilepticus after the first line treatment benzodiazepines have failed. Normally in a research study, we would sit down with parents and we would explain the study and obtain informed consent or permission to enroll the child in the study. In this situation, however, doctors are treating an emergency condition, ongoing seizures. There is not time to stop and have these discussions with families. We need to continue treatment. Therefore, the Food and Drug Administration and our local ethics review board have given us permission to enroll patients in the study without informed consent. After the patient has been medically stabilized, we will go then talk to families about the study and inform them about the study procedures. This is a standard approach that we have used in the past for emergency research, and it's very important that we determine the answer to this question, which medication is most effective for treating seizures. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chamberlain. Like he said, all children who come to Children's National Emergency Department with seizures that do not stop will automatically be enrolled in the ESET study. After the child is stabilized, the research team will then approach the child and his or her guardians to ask if they would like to participate further in the study. We would now love to hear what you think about the study. 
please see below for the survey link. Call 202-476-3558 to talk with a member of the research team or check out our national website. All three of those resources will also provide you directions on how to opt out of the study if you choose to do so. Thank you so much for listening and for helping us improve the care of children.